5 Reasons I Can't Go Back to Windows After trying Linux, Linux has long been the backbone of the server world, but on the desktop, Windows continues to dominate. However, after spending countless hours with Linux, tweaking it, customizing it, and pushing its limits, I've realized there are five major reasons why I just can't go back to Windows. Let's break them down one by one. Reason 5. Troubleshooting is a breeze One of the biggest frustrations with Windows is how difficult it is to troubleshoot issues. Windows errors are often cryptic, vague, and require a deep dive into Event Viewer or endless forum searches. With Linux, troubleshooting is straightforward. The system logs everything in detail, and most problems can be solved with a quick terminal command. A simple Google search will often lead you to a clear solution. Yes, some rolling release distros like Arch or NixOS can throw unexpected issues at you, but if you stick to stable versions like Debian, Fedora, or Linux Mint, you'll likely encounter fewer bugs than Windows 11. Reason 4. Superior Package Managers One of the best things about Linux is package management. Instead of downloading software from random websites or dealing with bloated installers, Linux lets you install everything from a single command. Package managers like APT, DNF, and Pacman make software management easy, secure, and centralized. Windows has tried to catch up with Winget and Chocolatey, but they still lack the integration and extensive software libraries of Linux package managers. Reason 3. Lower performance overhead Windows has a reputation for being resource-hungry. With all the background services, telemetry, and bloatware, it's no surprise that older devices struggle to run Windows 11 smoothly. Linux, on the other hand, is incredibly lightweight. Even full-fledged desktop environments like GNOME and KDE use fewer resources than Windows. And if you need something even lighter, distros like Puppy Linux or Diet Pie can breathe new life into old hardware. For anyone who works with virtual machines, single board computers, or embedded systems, Linux is the clear winner in performance efficiency. Reason 2. Better privacy Privacy is a growing concern, and Windows isn't exactly known for respecting user data. Microsoft has gradually increased telemetry data collection, even making it difficult to disable completely. But what really raised eyebrows was Windows Recall, a feature designed to keep a snapshot of all user activity. While it sounds convenient, it's also a potential security nightmare, as hackers could exploit it to access personal data. Linux, on the other hand, is open source, meaning anyone can audit the code. There's no forced data collection, no hidden tracking, and no unnecessary ads injected into the operating system. You control your data, not a corporation. Reason 1. Unmatched versatility The final reason I can't go back to Windows is the sheer flexibility of Linux. Unlike Windows, which is primarily a desktop OS, Linux can be anything you want it to be. Want a gaming machine? Install Steam with Proton. Need a server? Deploy Debian or Ubuntu server. Running an emulation station? Batocera has you covered. Linux can be a workstation, a media server, a self-hosting platform, or all of them at once. Windows may have customization options, but Linux takes it to a whole new level, allowing users to tailor their experience exactly how they want. But Windows still has its strengths. Of course, Linux isn't perfect. Many popular games still rely on Windows due to anti-cheat mechanisms that aren't Linux-friendly. And if you're a professional Adobe user, you'll find it hard to replace Photoshop and Premiere Pro without a Windows virtual machine. However, for most users, especially developers, tinkerers, and privacy-conscious individuals, Linux offers an experience that Windows simply can't match. So, have you tried Linux? What's stopping you from making the switch? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tech content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.